Chris Boone. Those breezy conditions really picking up this morning and getting into those windy conditions, seeing those gusts up to 50 miles per hour earlier this afternoon and around 2 p.m. And those winds have started to die down just a little bit, but they're still remaining prominent out there and still seeing those gusts across the Concho Valley. Most of us seeing those gusts at about 30 miles per hour. Some of us seeing a little bit of those lighter winds, only 25 gusts out in Junction and about 18 mile per hour gusts out in Sonora. And we've actually been seeing a wind advisory again across the entire Concho Valley as well as a red flag warning with these dry conditions and these warm temperatures as well as these very hefty winds could be seeing some possible fires conditions out there so again another thing to be on the lookout though for the last 24 hours we didn't really cool down all too much for our night last night again only getting into those low 50s for that low and not really warming up all too much for this afternoon with those winds bringing us a little bit of cool air again only getting into those 60s for those afternoon highs and a very calm afternoon again those very sky wise there's no clouds in the sky a very clear day and those sunny conditions in for a very beautiful sunset through the next couple of hours and again those beautiful conditions other than those winds we're starting to calm down a little bit and those temperatures again sitting at 62 right now and that dew point at 22 it's very dry out there humidity at 22 percent and those winds out of the west right now at 21 miles per hour so again calming down a little bit from what we were seeing earlier and those current temperatures across the entire Concho Valley most of us holding on to those mid to low 60s some of us seeing a little bit of warm conditions. We're seeing 68 out in Mason as well as Junction, though most of us again in those lower 60s for us here in the Concho Valley and way cooler than what we were seeing yesterday. Yesterday seeing those upper 70s and lower 80s, but we've seen about a 15 degree drop from what we were seeing yesterday at this time. And for those next 12 hours, we're going to continue to cool down as we go into these next couple of hours, finally reaching those 50s and into those 40s and in for another cool night back in those 30s. A very chilly night again with those winds could be seeing some dust throughout the sky. A chilly night back in those again upper 30s for those lows and those winds sticking around calming down from what they were earlier though still seeing them out of the west at 15 to 25 miles per hour with those gusts up to 35 miles per hour and into tomorrow those winds calming down even more just seeing them out of the northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour and another cooler afternoon as we only get into those low 60s for those afternoon highs and they look at some of the winds that we could be seeing for the rest of the week again still be seeing some as we go into the rest of tonight though calming down and not seeing any really winds as we go into our Thursday and for a very calm afternoon seeing it finally start to build up a little bit for our Friday in those winds but definitely not as hefty as what we were seeing today and I look at that seven day forecast again still seeing those above average temperatures warming up for our Friday back into some upper 60s so another cold front coming through early Saturday morning dropping us back a little bit closer to average and continuing to cool off for the start of next week.